Good morning. In this part three, now I'm going to uh, show you how to make uh, the the rest of the pieces of plywood. We're going to cut all the rest of the pieces of plywood: the bulkheads, the the front uh, part that you add on, the bottom that you add on, all the other pieces. We're going to cut them today. I'm not going to set them all out because a lot of uh, it, it's it's a lot of stuff. But I will set out one of the front for you, which has a curve in it. The rest of it pretty easy to to set out and we're going to cut it and prepare it uh, in, 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 this, in this video. And the following video after that we're going to attach everything together and we're going to make up uh, framing and, and then and the video after that is going to be 3G, that the boat is going to be in, that's in number 5, we will be putting uh, the boat together. So we will have a boat in number 5. So let's do it. Uh, good morning. Uh, we got two hours. I'll probably, I might get two hours in today as well. I might even get more, but uh, there's only a certain amount I can do today because I'm going to be extending the bottom and extending the side. I will be making the transom. I'll be making the thwarts. So I don't need these two. So that's two pages gone already. Uh, this one I need to go back to. Um, maybe I will cut all the pieces instead of just the ones that I need now. The ones I need now is... Uh, I will show you here. I need the, this is our list of, of this is our uh, parts here. I'm thinking I will make all these pieces now and set them out and then because uh, why not? Uh, going back to making them again. Uh, when I make them I will write in what they are though definitely will write in what they are. Uh, the, 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 the bottom, the whole bottom, it says it's oversized, right? It says there it's oversized. And I checked the measurement on the one down there and it is actually oversized. So, so uh, we'll put away uh, our sides here and we'll put away our bottom and we will get up our, uh, our half sheets, the pieces that are left over. Okay, so I have the pieces that we had left over or not left over. I have the pieces here like I showed you there a minute ago and if you see that these two these are uh, the whole sides right the whole side uh, this is uh, port and this is starboard uh, you can see that this is curve in the bottom of it and I have the measurements for that so I will have to do a little uh, bend on that one so I will do them first uh, I will make sure my plywood is square which I did uh, sometimes you buy new plywood and it's not uh, square, but I put my square on it. Uh, I'm going to take the measurements uh, from, from, from my drawing here. And the, the, I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is, I, I don't know if everyone else does this, I am going to mark the panels as I'm cutting them. So this is hull, forward port, right? So we will write hull. F, W, D, and P, T. P, T is what I have. I don't know if that's right. Uh, uh, and hold forward uh, starboard. S, T, D, isn't it? Starboard, yeah. Um, starboard is the right. Always remember that. Bright, bright green star. Green is the light on the right as well. Is that right? Long time since I flew a plane. Uh, so uh, I'm going to do the measurements on all this now and uh, I will come back to you then in a few minutes. Uh, there's no point in me setting them out because I'm not going to give you the exact details of them because it's going to take a long time and it's going to be boring. So I will draw them all out uh, and I will tell you what they are when I'm cutting them and after I've cut them. And then we will, we will take all those pieces, set them aside and then we will take the one from the middle of the two sides and that's for deck, bottom of hull and all those. And we will do all them then and then uh, when I have them all drawn out then I will start cutting them and I will show you how I will do, show you how I've done the curve in this first. So we will just do the curve in this one. I'm going to draw 50. 
and if you make a bad line where I did a minute ago, 235 and 225 is 270, 470, sorry. Now, So I will square them off. You must remember to keep this piece as well from the other one because there is a, a part coming out of what's coming out of that? Um, the aft tank uh, bunkhead. So make sure the, 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 the square is tight against this and I'm going to draw a line to hold it down. And we know where we're going to and then I will draw the other two reference lines. Put the, pen, put the pencil on the mark first and move the square over to it. And the same here. And before you do anything else, you just double check your measurements. Two thirty five, two thirty five, fifty. Okay? And then we'll measure our measurements down, which is 335 here. Now, that, the 335 is not there, it's here. Yeah. Yeah. It's in on the 50th. Because this is going like this, and we will draw that line now in a second. Double check, 335, 335. Now we have one line and 364. Make sure you have your finger there, 364. And the last one is 370. So uh, we use this one. As I said, we're going to do this with nails again like the last time. Now I'm going to, can you see this? Uh, kind of a little bit of damage on the corner of the sheet. So I'm going to draw that line down to there. Can you see? This is where the front part of, this is the front of the boat. Uh, what's the part that goes in there? I can't remember. It's the stem, isn't it? We'll be putting the stem in there. That will be hardwood. Uh, not sure how to make it yet, but I saw it there in the drawing. And it doesn't look that difficult. This line here remains square, okay? This is joining. This is the one that's going to join to our, uh, our side. On our port side. Right, so yeah, that's square, D double checked again. And now we're going to make the curve from there to there. I'm not sure how long I'm going to get at this today, but, but when you're pushing in, you, you push in. Finger. Not beyond it, no, on the nail. So I'm going to push in on the nail, not down here. If I, if I move this down here, this will. So we'll just draw that fair curve then. Now, so uh, our fair curve is done. I'm going to do the same on the other end. Uh, I'm going to cut them out then and then I will be back. I just, the uh, reason I was doing this, I wanted to explain to you how to do these, t make sure you do, do these two ends and the very important parts of the boat. Plus don't forget this 50 millimeter here as well.
So uh, I have done up my two pieces now, uh, the inside, I put them together and we will just set them aside. We will uh, butt them to the, to the sides in shortly, but we will do the, we'll do the, uh, the whole bottom, the front of the whole bottom, uh, so, or fo forward part. Uh, so it, it is coming out of a different sheet. It's coming out from the, the sheet that the two sides were on. That's the way it's been laid out and that's the way we're doing it. I'll show you here. There it is there. Now, there, it's coming out of the bottom. So it's coming out of here. It's coming out of there. Now, the measurements for it. It says uh, in the drawings, make this section oversize and trim to size. Right, it's 520 and it's 155 by 155 the exact. So on the end where it's joining onto the, the, the sides, I will leave it the correct size, but I will make it longer this way, so if I make it longer, it will come out and it'll be oversized towards the front where it's going up to the stem. It doesn't say by how much, but there's a picture there where it is uh, already showing. So what I'll do is I'll measure here. This is fine. We will use our square then. We will measure this the very same as the, 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 the bottom of, the, of our uh, hull that we've already made yesterday. So I'll measure this. The reason they're doing it in two parts is so that we get it centered. So we're going to do it exactly the way he says. So it's 155. I'm going to put on my glasses. And that's 310, isn't it? I'll double check that now. Always double check when you're doing it. 155, yeah. And so we're going to square this. Well, I don't really need to square that one, but I do for the, for the, just to get the line for the cut. So I'm going to draw a line down here. Now it says 530 in, in, the, in the drawing. It says 5, 530. So we'll leave it 550. Okay. have to be that accurate, but we are going to go by what it says. And then it says to come out 15. Uh, 15 on each side, I think. Yeah, 15 on each side. If it's too big, it's fine. We come out 15 on each side. So it'll be 30 at the stem. We can put the, the, the join the, bring the, make the boat 10 foot rather than the 8 foot that we added yesterday. Let's join that line. You can cut this with jigsaw or you can cut it with but it won't fit, I could fit it on my band saw, it's not worth cutting in my band saw. You can use a Japanese uh, saw for cutting it, that's what I usually use. But no, I'll use the jigsaw on this and then I'll plane it up. Uh, I've planed up these with a little um, block plane. So I will, I will plane these up now in a few minutes uh, with the block plane. Uh, yeah, the parts, all will, we will be sticking these together. Uh, I was meant to make this one oversized. I made it oversized on this end, but I didn't make it oversized on here. So that's fine. This one, the, the, the line of the boat will come in like this, I think, the way I look at it. And um, I've also made uh, uh, the transom. So what the boat looks like then, you will see, that's the, the, can you see down along the boat there, here, and then the side of the boat, I've done a retake on this, <laughs> I had it upside down because it's far away, that's the shape of the boat now, down along there, and this is the, the front. Uh, when I'm making up my pieces, I, I, in, in lightly on pencil, I write in the name of everything, and that's the whole forward port side. So a whole forward port side. So is it port side? It is. And 
Yeah, hold forward port side, and this holds forward starboard side. Okay, it's actually wrong <laughs> because I'm going to use this side of the wood, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're both exactly the same. But uh, you'll be, I'll be putting a strap on these, uh, the fully ed edge, uh, and we'll be putting a strip on. I think it's two inches, something like that, or 50 millimeters. Uh, yeah, the, the strap is called a, it's called a, it's called a butt strap. So that sounds like something from Fifty Shades of of, of Grey or something like that. Butts. It's called a butt strap, right? So, uh, so now I will just, uh, I have some of these planed up. These three have to be planed up, and uh, I think I have. That's not. Yeah, them three and. This is the the. This is in two parts, right? This is the, the mass bunkhead uh, for the mass bunkhead, and it is made in two parts. No, what way am I? <laughs> it's like this. So these are joined together. Okay, don't worry; they are meant to be joined together. They will be the one fast forward, they will have a butt strap on them as well. And that will be in the, the, the front bunkhead. And then that will be covered over in uh, sheeting on the top. Um, uh, so I'm just going to plane these up now and then I'm going to go have some lunch. And uh, I will cut some uh, butt straps then. Uh, the reason I cut out all the, all the other pieces first was so that you'd have the butt straps. Uh, I need the wood for the butt strap. A little bit too much at a time, maybe. So in a straight line, keep the plane level on it like this. Uh, maybe I'm a bit, I'm a bit too fussy because this has been epoxied and all that, but. Uh, And uh, my jigsaw was not perfect there anyway, but I didn't go over the line. No. Thank you for uh, watching uh, this part three of the boat build. Uh, in the next build we will be making up all the one by one, uh, planing it up and making all the frames, joining all the pieces together and having everything ready for putting the boat together which will be in episode 5. If you like this video or any other video uh, please uh, consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you.